so here beta our today's topic that is fraction as per your request that because you are feeling problem in your previous classes of calculating about fraction so let's start that fun yeah hello times and yeah dividing fraction yeah no problem no problem so here you are seeing that in fractions miss i think that uh, firstly introduction of fraction as usual that you know that miss fractions that would like to be means uh, there will be a numerator and denominator okay means the fundamental that uh, i think that uh, within 5 minutes that i want to give you fundamental knowledge of fractions and then we would like to go that whatever that your query is okay yeah so 100% that here in this uh, section that we have to understand about that uh, means a different type of uh, means wait a second recognizing one quarter one half finding one half all these that you know that one quarter that means one by four one by half that means one by two okay three by four that means uh, means three quarter that means three by four and all that okay so me suppose that here click the shape this one by two shape one by two firstly you have to understand that what does it mean it means that one by two that means total part that will be two okay if you are seeing any fraction so it is your total part okay total okay and this is that you are getting there okay or you are choosing chosen yes okay okay i know i know that so that's why that i'm opening that one give me a second okay so simple fraction you know that more fraction also you know that starting to compare fraction do you know that how to compare fractions okay times that means multiplying that okay so fundamentally before is starting okay just see on your screen beta before is starting i have to explain you the fundamental facts about your multiplication and division okay so suppose that if there are two fractions which you have to multiply two fractions that will be in the format of like first fraction is your a by b and the other fraction that is your c by d okay you have to multiply that or you have to make times okay so simply that there is a fundamental rule of getting that just copy your question a by b times c by d and then multiply numerator to numerator basically yes and denominator to denominator that's it so when you will multiply a and c then it will be like ac upon when you will multiply it b and d then it will be bd do you understand that with the help of example that i can explain that which will be much convenient for you to understand that suppose that two fractions are 3 by 7 and 3 by 7 multiplied by okay 2 by 9 okay 2 by 9 so here you can see that one thing you have to do that as i explained that you just before that in multiplication if two fractions are there then you have to multiply numerator to numerator okay so what does it mean it means that it will be 3 times 2 and upon 7 times 9 that you have to write 7 times 9 do you understand this step great so now you just have to see that if there is any number which we have to uh, miss reduce so you can see clearly that there is 3 and 9 so 3 ones are 3 3 threes are 9 okay so now at the last that you are getting here 1 times 2 in numerator and 7 times 3 that in denominator do you understand it and at the last that your answer will be with respect to this one it will be that 2 ones are 2 and 7 threes are 21 okay so it is your answer okay that's it it's a fundamental now and it is your multiplication so multiplication i was explaining here beta so topic that you can write there okay multiplication 
multiplication of fractions okay fractions okay so that was your this this one now next is your division of fraction okay division of fraction okay in division of fraction again you have to consider two fractions okay again you have to consider two fractions let the two fraction will be a upon b and c upon d okay clear you have to divide okay or you can you can you can write in this way suppose that your question is given a by b and divided by divided by c upon d okay so what does it mean it means that you have to write in this way it means that it will be like uh, a upon b okay whole upon division that means it will be next term that will be in denominator and it will be c upon d understand yes now when you will do this one then one thing you have to remember over there that uh, how you have to solve it so always remember that in numerators denominator that will come in denominator okay numerators denominator will come denominator and denominators denominator will move to numerator okay are you firstly you have to understand that the basics and then i will explain that in advance okay so in this way beta it will be like uh, you just have to do that it will be a times d upon b times c okay now you can see that now these are in multiplication and then you have to apply the same rule as i explained that to you in multiplication okay it is the first way of solution it is the first way of solution let's see the second way okay just i am raising do you understand this one suppose that your question is what you are you are seeing on your screen a by b divided by c by d okay so you can do in other way other way is that a by b you have to copy in the same way and just do one thing convert division into multiplication and next number that will reverse that means it will be d by c understand is the another way so here in this condition now you can see that it is a times d divided by b times c okay clear so any of any of example that you can take i am going to take an example so any fraction you can take suppose that 2 by 5 divided by 2 by 5 divided by uh means 3 over 15 okay suppose okay 3 over 15 so you have to divide that so now in which way that you have to solve so 2 by 5 that you have to copy as it is as i explained that just before just convert division into multiplication and what will happen it will be that your yeah it will be reverse 15 by 3 understand <coughs> now when you are saying that these are in multiplication so as usual i explain that in multiplication just uh, multiply that and reduce simply so multiply that so you can see that 15 to the 30 and 5 threes are 15 clear and then you now you can reduce that so if you will reduce that then you can see that it will be 15 ones are 15 15 to the 30 and your answer you will get there too okay so i explained two methods okay of finding division okay i think that this one that is uh, much easy for you to understand that okay pardon 
yes so it is much easy to understand that almost uh, means, uh, means in here in india that you are in london okay or nottingham okay so <coughs> first method generally we use here in india okay but almost expecting of india almost other all the countries okay of surrounding world they generally use to follow this rule which you are seeing on your screen with respect to division which i am explaining over here at this time okay so also suppose that do you understand this one great so now i am going to erase this one so that whatever that you are telling me uh, you are asking me so give me one second uh, wait hold on so as usual you are seeing that suppose that your fraction is given in mixed form okay hello shan are there so uh, you are asking that if your fraction is given in mixed form then how you would like to divide that okay or how you would like to multiply that clear so firstly suppose that it is given 1 2 by 5 divided by 2 5 by 7 okay it is your mixed form mixed form uh, fraction mixed fraction that is given okay so what you have to do that Fun firstly firstly you have to convert that into simplest form okay yeah 5 times 1 5 times 1 you will get 5 over there and then plus 2 that you have to take so here you will get that 7 over 5 okay understand and now division sign that will be as it is because you don't have to solve in this way because until or unless that you will not convert both in simplest fraction okay and now same type that 7 twos are 14 times you are doing and 14 will be here and plus 5 okay so it will be 19 over 7 okay clear now you are seeing that now it is in second step these are in simplest fraction so in which way that i explain that to you you have to uh, yeah so 7 upon 5 convert division into multiplication and uh, then um uh, yeah oh yeah give me one second I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Give me one second. I'm thinking about. Yes. Yes. Let's start. Sean. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. I I want to ask a question, but uh, after this one, after explaining, so seven by five. That will be as it is. division that you can convert in multiplication as i explained that to you and if you will convert division into multiplication clearly that you have to keep in your mind that next fraction that will be reverse okay that means now it will be that 7 over 19 understand now simply yeah, that is easy to understand that then you have to do one thing that multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator okay So it will be like 49 upon 19.595. Okay, it's your perfect answer. Understand? No, it is not possible that because 49 and 95 they are with respect to odd. Okay, so it is not possible because one is the multiple of five, another one is the multiple of seven. So it is not possible that there is no common factor between them. Okay. so that's why that it is not possible to reduce understand great so basically do you understand that how to <coughs> how to multiply and divide a fraction okay beta so i would like to upload this fundamental uh, video of uh, un multiplying and dividing okay so wait wait a second wait a second before that means i think that within 15 minutes i am going to refresh that okay so that uh, give me one second i am refreshing i am refreshing that and then let's just see that where there is a multiplication fraction 
blue cone mass <coughs> give me one second equivalent fraction adding sub oh yes multiplying fraction by fractions okay just try to solve here yes is better last year we were studying by this book beta okay yes <laughs> means although at this time that there are many students who are studying by this book okay from uk but here you can i means i think that in uk it is it is authorized book in almost many schools huh? blue coat blue coat is only in your school Yes, 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 yes. That's why. That's what I am saying. That that my mass that is with respect to many schools in UK. Okay. So yeah, here you can see that, beta. They are saying that multiply the fractions in the middle of each target. Okay. Okay. And by each fraction in blue ring. Okay. And the first that has been done for you. That means one by four multiplied by one by nine, then you will get one by thirty-six. Okay. In the same way, one by four multiplied multiplied by one by four. So how much will be? Oh yes, that's right. One over sixteen. Oh, where am? Oh yes, here. Yeah. Now the third one, one by four multiplied by five by six. Yes, you can do that because I will make you practice in such a way so that you will. Yep. Here, three over forty-four. Great. So you are seeing three over forty-four. Good. Now here, one by four multiplied by five by six. Simply you have to understand. Yep. Five over twenty-four. Great. 5 over 24. Now, next, here are many. So after yes, so 4 by 9 multiplied by 1 by 6. 4 by 54. Okay, Shan, you can give your answer 4 by 54, but I think that. You have to reduce that, okay? And after, yes, that's your final answer. Two over twenty-seven, okay? Yes. Now four by nine multiplied by one by ten. If any fraction is, if you, if any fraction that is in condition of re re reduction, okay? So after reducing, whatever will come, that will be your final answer, okay? Yep, that's right. Two over forty-five. That's great. Now third one, four by five times four by nine. Okay, sixteen over forty-five. It is just like a test, beta, because I explained that to you, and now you are solving that. And also, you get you have to show this video. You have to show this video to your parents in order to get efficiency and also your report. Okay. Yeah. 20 over 81. That's great. 20 over 81. So you can clearly understand that 20 and 81. Your answer is perfectly right. And uh, you have to, you have to do one thing. You have to do one thing. That uh, you are saying that one is a multiple of five, and other one is a multiple of uh, means nine or three, any else, okay, or 27. So that means they are different multiple. So that means it is not possible to reduce that. Clear? Now try the next one. One by seven times five by eight. Great. Five over fifty-six. Now next, one by seven times seven by ten. Yes. Seven over seventy. So what will be your answer finally? 
y beta 7 by 70 is your fraction so 7 ones are 7 and 7 tens are 70 yeah 1 over 10 yeah you are 10 to tell me right answer and next is 1 by 7 times 2 by 11 2 over 77 great next 1 by 7 times 5 by 11 5 by 77 okay so here as usual you are seeing that you gave me all the answers I am going to mark it let's see that how much did you score there fantastic you got full marks great okay so now next here you are seeing Sean word problems are there in UK curriculum also there becomes a word questions okay which you have to understand and also to solve that okay so just read the first question Callum used 3 by 10 of a meter of the wood to make a model boat he used 4 by 5 of this amount to make a model airplane how much wood he used to make the aeroplane Yes. Miss, you have two times. Miss, three by weight. Uh, Callum used three by ten of a meter of a wood to make a model boat. Okay. He used four by five of this amount. Okay. To make a model airplane. So that means how much wood how much wood did he use to make the aeroplane so that means 3 by 10 of 4 by 5 that you have to get okay yeah that means indirectly you have to multiply six over 25 great right? six over 25 good now try next susie used four by nine half a liter of water to make squash if she wanted to make 7 by 10 of this amount, how much water would she need? Means, beta, how would you consider that uh, uh, you have to multiply or divide? So, when you will see that there is written 3 by 10 of, okay? So, that means it will be multiply. Yes, it's a keyword, okay? Yeah. Twenty eight over ninety. Yes. Yep. Great. Fourteen over forty five. Good. That's right. Try next. Jara Pani de do fifteen over fifty six. Fifteen. Oh, hold on. Give me one second. It will be fifteen over fifty six. Good. Now, next. So, five over sixty. Uh, you can see that either it will be reduced or not. Okay, so let's check your answer and uh, yep, fantastic, very good, great. So that was better here. In this, I miss approximately a half an hour video that I explained that multiplication to you and division in multiplication. You understand clearly. That's why that you get all marks in this one. Okay. Okay, so let's move to the division one. Okay. multiply divide fraction introduction okay let me see that what is here multiply okay yes I am opening this one beta so here will be few questions also on your screen so you just have to uh, see there 
and yeah yep just see that you are seeing few questions over there on your screen here also that you have to multiply a fraction by a whole number okay 4 by 1 yeah you can write that 4 by 1 and then you can apply the same formula as I explained that to you okay or simply one one I am telling you okay one I am telling you 4 6 are 24 divided by 7 okay then you have to convert that into mixed fraction 7 3s are 21 and 3 over 7 clear yep now you can tell me the other one there are three remaining questions yeah, because you are feeling problem in multiplication and division I will make you perfect yeah that that is yeah that's the easy Are you trying, Mita? Great. It will be 72 over 8 and then how much it will be? Oh, wait a second. <clears throat> How much it will be? 9 sevens are? Na yeah, that's why I was thinking that it will completely divisible. 8, 8 fours are, uh, sorry, uh, 8 nines are 72. So it will go 9 times. So why they are giving here in a mixed fraction format? So that means that there is a little bit mistake. So that's why that I saw there. So seven nines of 63 will be there. Yeah. And now you have to convert that into mixed form. Yep. So seven that is outside then eight. How is it possible that 8 and 8 that will be in bottom and numerator? Yes. A, 8 sevens are 56 and then you have to subtract six, 56 minus uh, 63 minus 56 and then how much you will get oh yes then 7 you will get there yeah. the seven, 7 7 by 8 oh I thought that you was telling me that 7 8 by 8 <laughs> okay okay so now just do the next one 7 by 9 times 2 so it doesn't mean that either your whole number that is on right hand side or left hand side but the process is same okay Okay, you are saying that uh, 14 over 9, 14 over 9, and then how much it will be? 1, 5, 9. Great. Next, 2 by 3 times 7. Next 
Okay, you are seeing that it will be 14 over 3 and then how should it will be? 4 2 3 Great. Now, just see here, Sean, here you are seeing 1 by 9 divided by 4. Okay? 1 by 9 divided by 4. So, what you have to do that? divided when you will convert division into multiplication so it will be 1 by 9 times 1 by 4 or not so 1 by 4 means either you can write 1 by 4 of 9 1 by 9 or 1 by 9 of 1 by 4 okay then how much you will get there Yeah, I am here. I am here. I just saw that and then it will be 1 1 the 1 and then it will be 9 4 the 36. Clear? So, first one I explained that. Now, tell me the next 3. Yeah, okay, take your time, no problem. Oh, oh, okay, okay, again, again, I'm explaining that to you, beta. So, here you can see that it is, beta, 4 by 7, that is in fraction, divided by 5. So, when you will remove division sign, so your next fraction will be reverse or not. So it will it will be one over five, okay? Yeah, and and now you have to multiply that, okay? So one four is a four, it will be four, and then it will be seven over here, okay? So your answer will be four by seven. That's it. Means here is written five. So, 5 is written, either you can write 5 or either you can understand this one like 5 by 1, okay? Yeah, so 5 by 1, if you will reverse that, then it will be like 1 by 5, okay? In which one? Yeah, 4, four, four over 35, yes. Yeah. 4 yeah, 4 ones are 4 and 5 cents are 35. Yep. Next one. 7 by 8 divided by 4. So it will be 1 over 4. It will be here. Yep. So 7 over 28. That will be your answer. That's right. And the next is 3 by 4 divided by 9. So it will be firstly, firstly it will be 1 over 9. And then you have to, yep, so how much will be here? So 3 over 36, so you can reduce that because you can see that numerator and denominator are multiple of 3. Okay, take your time. Oh yes, that's right. Let's check your answer and let's see that. Yep, all the oops. How you are getting that? Seven by twenty-eight. Four is the thirty. Four is the thirty-two. It will be. Yes. No, no, no. Here you can see that 1 there is a, here you can see that 1 by 4 of 7 by 8. So, you told me that 7 by 28, but it, it, beta 4 is the 32, it will become, okay. 
Uh, okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. So now here is here five friends share four by seven of a pizza. So four by seven of a pizza. That means firstly you have to understand that you have to multiply. So what you have to multiply? You have to multiply five times four by seven, and then you can calculate and tell me your answer. Okay, so it will be 5 4 the 20. Yes, your answer is right. 20 over 7. Great. Next. Okay. How much? Three. Three, three. Great. Now try next. Nikki spent one by four of an hour driving to work each day and one by two of an hour driving home. She works every day except Sunday. How long does she spend traveling each week? But but why you have to divide that? They are saying again again just try to understand. Nikki spent one by four four of an hour driving to work each day and one by two of an hour driving home. Okay, she works every day except Sunday. So how long does she spend traveling each week? So firstly you have to do one thing. Okay, firstly you have to do one thing. Firstly you have to. Uh, Add 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 because that then you will be able to understand that how much are that she is spending each day and then you have to multiply that by 6. Okay. Yeah, because that Monday to Saturday that will be 6 days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. Do you understand what I mean to say? 4 plus 1 by 2 firstly okay plus I am saying plus not multiply uh, 1 over 6 wait 4 2 yeah. 3 I think 3 by 4 you, will, you have to get 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 then how much will you get? So 3 over 4 that you will get and then you can multiply that by 6. Okay? Because in a week there are 6 days. Four two over four. Okay, four two over four. A little bit you can also solve that. Uh, that means the two and the two, two to the four, so it can be also. 4 1 by 2 let's but before that let's check that yep that's right okay do you understand that yeah, give me one second are you pagal pagal ho ga yeah i'm here so, oh, Sean, five friends shared, okay, four by seven of a pizza, uh, five friends share, four by seven of a pizza. So, what fraction of the pizza 
does each person share oh shan you know they are asking each person okay so you have to divide yes you have to divide here okay I misguide you and you misguided <laughs> okay because no 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 actually I, I, your teacher can judge you anytime but better you have to be careful on yourself because you can see that sometimes that I will misguide you so that you can confuse and you will give me a wrong answer but you should have to be confident that what you are what you had understand there okay so here better 5 divided by 4 by 7 okay or 4 by 7 divided by 5 it will be okay do you think that i have to explain our screen yeah 4 by 7 divided by 5 so 7 will come 7 will come downwards so it will be 4 by 35 that will be your answer understand great so from here that a different type of question yes multiplying fractions also there are okay so let's check that means what type of question that i explained that to you the same type of that's you will see on your screen over here yep now here you can tell me that what will be your answer because you are seeing that in different variation that questions are here 4 by 9 times 2 by 5 8 over 45 good next is 2 by 3 times 6 by 7 but at 12 over 21 you can reduce that okay four four over seven yep that's right now try next six by eleven times one by four better always remember six over forty four can reduce okay yes three over twenty two now next yes when you will see that anything that is given and it can be reduced so i think that you have to reduce then and after reduction whatever will come that will be your answer okay yes so now try next 3 by 8 times 2 by 15 Okay, you are saying that uh, it will be how much? Yep. Okay, 1 over 20 you are saying. Good. Now here you can see Sian that one uh, here here that was your simple fraction multiplication here you can see that one is simple one is mixed so mixed fraction you have to convert that into simplest form so it will be 4 to the 8 1 9 so 9 over 2 yep and now you can multiply that so it will be uh, 9 to the 18 or simply that uh, you can see that 2 and 2 can be cancelled there okay so simply it will be 9 over 5 okay and now you can convert that into mixed form so five ones are five four and five okay now in the same way just try this one six by seven times three two by three so how much it will be what yeah eleven over three Sixty six over twenty one. Sixty sixty six over twenty one. But I think that it can. But sixty six over twenty one. Sixty six over twenty one. That means it is your. But you can reduce that. Okay.
yes because that if you will not reduce then if you will not reduce then your answer will be different yes okay you are saying that 22 over 7 So you have to convert that into mixed form. Three, one, and seven. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So next, here you are seeing that two mixed fraction that you have to simplify or miss multiply. So first you have to convert them into simplest form. Wait, firstly you can simplify over here 2, 5 by 6, what you can write over there? Seventeen over 6, good, next. What? 3 over 2? Yeah, 5 over 2, yes. And then you have to multiply. Seventeen fives are. Yeah, you can multiply that and then you can tell me your final answer. Oh yes, 85 over 12, yes, now you can simplify, means you can convert that into mixed form. Simply you can divide that and you can understand that what will be your question, what will be the remainder and as usual dividend you know that. Tell. Seven seven here. What will be your number? Miss, what will be here in num numerator? One over twelve. Yep, let's check your answer. Yes, fantastic. All the answer that you get right. Great. A little bit you have to be focus on your calculation beta because in that condition if your calculation will be correct then 100% you will get your right answer okay yes here that next question that is on your screen using fraction Jarvis work in a garage for nine pound an hour okay that means say he is working in a garage and for every hour he is getting nine pound okay if he works on Saturday if he works on Saturday, he is paid times and a quarter. Okay. Okay. So times and a quarter. So times and a quarter. Times and a half. That means times and a half. Times and a half means for every hour you work you get paid for one and a half hour oh so that means he, he is working on saturday he paid for times and quarter okay so that means uh, times and quarter that means uh, one hour and uh, one by four okay that means if he is working on saturday so he is getting nine pound and uh, one by four of nine pound okay 
if he if he works on saturday or sunday he paid times and a half okay so last week jarvis worked for six hours on saturday and five hours on sunday okay so firstly uh, you have to calculate that hourly rate okay hourly price on saturday and sunday okay so our price our paid on saturday so for saturday it will be how much uh paid times and a quarter so that means one one by four okay that is one one over four okay and hours paid sunday that means uh, one one by two one one by two okay so total hours paid uh, wait total hours speed i think that uh, you can multiply that by 6 for saturday and you can multiply that by 5 on sunday wait here it will be 4 ones are 4 1 5 it will be 5 by 4 5 by 4 times 6 okay 5 by 4 times 6 5 by 4 times 6 so it will be uh 5 6 30 30 by 4 30 by 4 that will that he will paid on saturday and uh 3 by 2 and 3 5 15 15 and 15 by 2 that he is paid on sunday so they are asking that how much was Jarvis paid last weekend all together, and I think that I have to explain on the screen. Okay, do you understand the question? What they are, what they are asking? Wait, I am explaining that on the screen. So, means on the screen, or uh, means you can see that just see on your paint screen over here. Okay, you can see that here for. for saturday okay for saturday for saturday you can consider that for saturday that uh, he is getting uh, he is getting a uh, times and a quarter so that means 1 1 uh, by 4 okay and for sunday for sunday sunday that he is getting 1 1 by 2 okay So what will be one one by four? It will be four ones are four one five. It will be five by four, and here it will be two ones are two one three. It will be three by two. Clear? And now you can see that on Saturday that he is working for six hours. So multiplied by six, and here you can see that multiplied by five. Okay? So then you can see that, and uh, then on Sun Saturday. you can see that you are getting 6 5 the uh, or you can reduce that a little bit okay 6 5 the 30 30 by 4 or it will be 30 by 4 or you can get that 15 by 2 do you understand that and uh, here you can see that 5 3 is a 15 15 by 2 that will get also here okay so 15 by 2 uh, that on saturday 15 by 2 that on sunday So 15 by 2 plus 15 by 2, then you'll get that 30 by 2, and then you'll get that 15. Okay, that means 15 pound that he get. Okay, do you understand that? So yes, we can write here 15 by 2. Yep. Let's see that 15 over here, and let's mark it. Oh, I didn't do that here. Wait, seven one by two. Wait, give me a second. Seven one by two. Seven one by two. Oh yes, you can see that. I think you have to write. I wrote here fifteen by two. Okay, but I think you have to write seven one by two here. Seven one by two here. Okay, and then you will get here fifteen. Okay. Do you understand that? 
great so now the next type of questions also we can do over here multiplying fraction yes but so clearly multiplying fraction i explained that to you okay so here next that we can start dividing fraction so fundamentally that i explained that to you how to do that so now here few questions that are coming on your screen that you have to solve that one yep so how how much it will be uh it are 8 divided by 1 by 5 so it will be 8 multiplied by 5 by 1 so 8 fives are 40 that will be your answer okay yes and next it will be 7 divided by 1 by 6 or when you will convert the division into multiplication then it will be 7 times 6 by 1 okay so that means it will be 7 6 of 42 understand now you can see that come to here you can see that 8 by 9 divided by 1 by 4 so 8 by 9 that you have to copy as it is division sign will be multiply uh, division sign will be converted in multiplication and 1 by 4 will convert into 4 over 1 okay understand and yes and it will be that 8 fours are 32 32 over 9 over 9 and then it will be 9 threes are 27 and 27 and 5 by 9 clear do you understand yes in the same way also you can see that 4 by 9 divided by 1 by 6 so 4 by 9 will be as it is okay 4 by 9 and division will be convert in multiplication so that means when division will convert in multiplication so the next fraction will be reversed so it will be 6 over 1 okay and then uh, 4 6 are yeah 4 6 are 24 24 divided by 9 and then 9 9 2 is 18 oh wait 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 hold on so 24 by 9 you can reduce that possibly okay so uh, 3 8s are 24 3 3 is a 9 it will be 8 by 3 okay 8 by 3 yeah and then 3 2 is a 6 3 2 is a 6 okay and 2 2 over 3 okay are understanding that great so here the next one that you can see that 1 by 6 divided by 3 by 4 so 1 by 6 divided by 4 by 3 to multiplied by 4 by 3 it will be and then 4 ones are 4 and 6 3 is 18 that will be okay 2 by 5 divided by 5 by 6 2 by 5 multiplied by it will be 6 by 5 because when you will convert your division to multiplication it then the next number will reverse and then it will be 6 to the 12 over 25 and then 3 by 7 divided by 3 by 8 so it will be 3 by 7 multiplied by 8 by 3 okay it will be 8 by 3 and then 8 3 is a 24 24 divided by 7 3 is a 21 and then 1 3 over 21 okay and then 5 7 by 8 divided by 5 by 8 so 7 by 8 multiplied by 8 by 5 okay and then you can see that yeah, you can see that also Sean if there is a 8 and 8 so simply you can cancel that so here will be 7 over 5 and then 5 ones are 5 and 2 over 5 okay do you understand that and when you will mark it perfect oh which one is wrong E wait a second I didn't reduce that one hold on hold on hold on 21 ones are 21 okay 
Oh, you can see that. Just see here. I didn't reduce that. That's why they didn't give me marks. You know, sometimes that you, uh, sometimes you lose there.